it's beer o'clock on Relo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Craft Academy and it's a can of their Icebreaker Pale Ale coming in at 4.5% ABV. Supported by Green King, let's get this can open into a glass, see what we get. I'm looking forward to a pale ale. I chose this today. It's really warm outside. It, it, three days of rain, like misty, weird rain in June. First day of summer in the UK, apparently. I think it's been summer for a month. It's been warm enough for summer. And then all of a sudden, we'll wake up today and boom, the sun shines out. Uh, two frames, two doors, hung, finished, home, sorted the kids out, sorted their tea, and I thought, I need a beer. So here's this beer, a pale ale. Good, good beer to kind of kick things off. Ease myself into a nice session, maybe. We got a four finger, three to four finger white head, slightly hazy amber colored ale, good levels of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Smells really, really good. Something to awaken the senses, to shut off that trapdoor of work and social life, uh, your real life. This just helps, you know, it just, it helps you begin your, begin your evening or begin your weekend, a nice pale ale. It smells really hoppy, really good. It's got Simcoe, Citra, the aroma is guava and citrus. Let's get the rest of the can in. I'm interested to see, there's a haze going on here, so I'm interested to see if it's a, a hazy pale ale. Yeah, you could call that a nice hazy pale ale. 2018, 2017, 2018, big fashion, big movement of hazy beer. So these guys are moving with the trends. Smells good, looks good, let's dive in. Cheers. Oh. That's lovely. That's actually a Stone the Crows beer. The Simcoe Citra just come through in like a, a floral bouquet mixed with tropical fruit, mixed with punch bowl, a nice punch tropical drink. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. There's a nice level of biscuit malt in the beer. Now considering it's probably been brewed at Green King, it's been supported by Green King, which they could well be the whole backers behind it. I'm fine with that, Green King. I'm quite a fan of old speckled hen. I've got a few in my drawer in the fridge there. I, I actually was talking just the other day about Green King's beers and just how when you need something last minute, say your parents turn, round, turn up out of the blue and they go, let's have a barbecue or friends. This kind of thing happens in life, yeah? You go, I don't want to jump in the car now. I'm going to run around the local shop. Something like old speckled hen or old hoppy hen. If it's if you're struggling for something to buy, it's not bad. It's not bad. This is very very good. The hops are shining. The hops are fresh. Grapefruit, mango, good levels of bitterness on the back end. It's doing a really good job, a really good job. And it has that biscuit malt that you would probably come to expect with a with a Green King beer. So what I'm really saying is it's got a really nice balance between that nice sweet biscuit malt and then that nice hoppy bitterness on the back end. I could quite easily smash down four of these, maybe five cans of these, with a sausage on the barbecue on the weekend. We've all been there, guys. We've all been there. There's nothing like a really good pale ale 
to session when you've just lit that barbecue. This, this, this is it, it's good. I wanted to mention the Craft Academy course. At this stage of the beer review, I want to mention that um, this is not a paid sponsorship, it's not a paid advert. Um, Craft Academy were kind enough to send me 12 beers. Uh, I, I think there's 12 in that box, I've not counted them. About 12 beers, which is very kind of them. Um, I'm just going to read out what Craft Academy is all about. In the UK, 17% of 16 to 24 year olds are actually out of work with no education, employment or training. Isn't that sad? This day and age, that's of the, the Telegraph, that's in October 2016. One million young people out of work, support them must be a priority. So these guys, it's a really good cause. They're actually getting these people who are uneducated, it, well, not maybe not uneducated, but not in education, not with a job. They're actually grabbing hold of these people and saying, come and have a look at the brewing industry. Maybe go into sales, maybe to go into marketing, maybe become a brewer. I think that's a really good thing. It's a really good thing. So that's what they're all about, Craft Academy. Uh, I applaud that. I applaud that. I was very lucky. I was very lucky. Some of you know I'm a carpenter by trade. Um, I left school at 16, had one of those career, career advisors in school back in 1996, 1995. I can't quite remember. Um, and they said, what do you want to do? I, I wanted to be a plumber. And there was no, no plumbers wanted to employ me. So my second choice was carpentry. I then become a carpenter. I finished my qualifications when I was nearly 20. So I had about four years of training. I was very lucky. I was very lucky. Um, some people are not that lucky. This thing here is pretty fantastic, I think. So great, great little bit of work. Cheers to, to Craft Academy on that one. I'm going to rate this beer. I really, really like that beer. I'm so pleased. It's a Thursday afternoon. The sun is shining. I've got about 12 more cans of these. I'm going to a barbecue tomorrow night. Family barbecue again. Do, do lots of stuff with my family. I will be passing these around to my father, my uncle, my grandfather, my brother-in-law, his friends, their friends. I'll be saying, try one of these. It's really good. Enjoy. I like to do that. I like to do that. When I get when I get a box of cans like that, I don't generally hoard them all to myself. I'm like, try this. You might like it. Put down your can of Carling. Put down your your Worthington Best Bitter, and 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 try something a little bit different. And they'll pick up the can, they'll look at it and go, ooh, that is different. And hopefully they'll like it. My rating, I feel like I've jabbered on long enough. My rating for this beer, I actually like it to give it a Stone the Crows, eight out of 10. It's an eight out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, and cheers.